Hello guys, how are you again? In this video, we're going to start talking here about the third compounds of hydrocarbons and we call them alkynes. So here, we're going to add Y in E to the prefix of the compound. We already talked about alkane, which is single bond, then alkene <coughs> with E and E, which is double bond. And here we're going to talk about alkyne, where we have a triple bond. And we're going to follow the same rules as we mentioned before when we talked about alkene. So here simply, if we have such compounds, here we have three carbon atoms, one, two, three. So we have prop, and because we have a triple bond, it will be propyne and the triple bond is at the first one so it will be one propyne and as you can see here we can just make the triple bond here or here and at all cases it will have always the same number which is one so we can call it just propyne or if we have for example one two three, four, and five. As you can see here, we have to start numbering from this side. One, two, three, four, five. Because if we started from the other side here, one, two, three, here we will have a three. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five carbon atoms. So we are talking about pent, so three, and time. Which is wrong because we have to start numbering from this side here so we will have two so this is the correct name for pentai Same thing if we have a branch, this is, we have one, two, three, four, so we have four, which means but and one, butyne, so we will have one butyne, and because we started from here, so one, two, three, at the third carbon atom, we have a methyl group, so the compound here will be three methyl butyne. Properties and uses of alkynes, they are nonpolar compounds just like the alkenes and exhibit the same trends in the boiling point and physical state as other hydrocarbon which means that the smallest alkyne which is ethyne is a gas and the combustion of ethyne when it's mixed with the pure oxygen produce the intense heat of welding torch as shown here now the common name of ethyne is acetylene. This is a common name. So these welding torches are commonly called oxyacetylene torches. Finally, we're going to talk about the aromatic hydrocarbons, which are hydrocarbons that have six membered carbon ring and delocalized electrons like benzene which is the primary aromatic compound as you can see here this is benzene which is c6h6 with three double bonds inside here and actually we draw the double bond here like a ring here because the reason for that if we have Now, 
The double bond is here. Could be located here. One, two, and three. Or could be not here, but starting from here. One, two, and three. So we could have the double bond here or at the other side here. This is why we draw benzene dye this and put a circle inside to show that the double bond could be between any two carbon atoms inside the ring. So we called it benzene and it is very close to the cycloalkanes. So for example, as we said before, if we have this compound here, we have cyclobutane and this one will be cyclohexane. So this is cyclohexane. But if we have a double bond, one double bond here, we will have cyclohexene. If we have two, another bond here, we will have cyclohexene, but we have two double bonds, so it will be diene cyclohexadiene, and we have to mention one, two, three, so we will have one, three, cyclo, hexadiene. But if we have a three double bond here, we will have benzene. So this ring is called benzene. And actually we have some compounds that well known, like this compound here, methyl benzene, which has the common name, toluene. This is all <coughs> about the alkyne here. And now we're going to continue talking about the functional groups. Functional group is an atom or group of atoms that is responsible for the specific properties of organic compounds. First of all, I'm going to, instead of drawing alkyl group, like for example CH2, CH3, CH2, CH3, or CH3, or the alkyl group would be CH2, 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 CH3, and here we have a functional group. Gathering of this alkyl group, it will be symbolized by R. So R means alkyl group. It could be ethyl, methyl, propyl, butyl, and so on. Now, if we have an alkyl group connected with OH, if we have OH here, that means that we have alcohol. So the function group or the main name of it will be alcohol. So if this was, for example, this one could be CH3 and OH here. So here, this is meth. So here we have methanol. And if R was, for example, CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. One, two, three. So this is propanol and so on. We're going to talk about the names later. But this is the meaning of R. That R could be any alkyl group. So if we have ROH, that means that we have alcohol. This is the first functional group. If we have R connected with X, and X here means chlorine or iodine or fluorine or bromine. So here we have, we are talking about halogen. So X is any halogen atom. In this case, we have alkyl halide. So we have R, OH, 
alcohol and we have R X is alkyl halide and we have finally R connected with N which is amine <coughs> now we could have R O R Notice that O is between two alkyl groups. Now, this one could be R prime, which means that the alkyl groups could be the same or could be different. Here we have ether. So we have alcohol, alkyl halide, amine, and ether. The second group of functional group that when we have C double bond O, which is carbonyl inside the compound. Now the first one of this family is if we have R, C double bond O, and the other side is H. Here, this group will be aldehyde and if we have R C double bond O R or R prime so the other side here is not H this is the difference between the two, these two compounds here we would have a ketone so we have aldehyde and ketone they are very close to each other and if we have R CO, O, H, here we are talking about carboxylic group, which is COO, which is C, double bond O, O. If we have this compound, then we are talking about carboxylic acid. And finally, if we have RCO, O, now instead of, instead of this H, we have another R here or R prime then we are talking about ester so as you can see here if we have OH then we have alcohol if we have COOH we are talking about carboxylic acid as you can see here butanoic acid and if we have C double bond O and we have R, R, then we are talking about ketone. And this is R, O, R, which is ether. It is very clear here. R, O, H is alcohol. R with X, we are talking about alkyl halide. Ether is R, O, R. And aldehyde is C double bond O with R and H at the other side. If we replace this H with R or R prime, then we will have, we are talking about ketone. And here we have talking about, if we have nitrogen, then we are talking about amine. Then this is the carboxylic acid. And here C double bond O, o. replace this H with R, then we are talking about <coughs> Starting with alcohol, which is an organic compound that contains one or more hydroxyl group, which is OH. And as we said, in naming, we take the OL because alcohol is ends with OL. So we'll take this suffix OL and add it to the prefix based on the number of carbon atoms. So if we have methane, then we will have methanol, ethane, ethanol, butane, butanol, and so on. And if we have more than one OH group, we're going to add di or tri as mentioned before when we discussed alkenes and alkynes. So we could have, for example, 1, 2, 3, propane triol, which is So we are talking about propane, so we have C, 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 
and OH, OH, OH. This is propane. All propanol, but because we have a three hydroxyl group, then we add sorry, try try all, and we have to mention one, two, three, dash, try so one, two, three propane trial try because we have the three alcoholic functioning groups here located at this compound now alcohols are sometimes used today as alternative fuel and as octane enhancers in fuel for automobiles ethanol for example is combined with gasoline for example, in a 1 to 9 ratio to produce gasoil. Some experts have promoted the use of gasoil as a fuel for automobiles because it burns more cleanly and efficiently. So the, the enthalpy of combustion will be much more than benzene alone. Alkyl halides, as you can see here, the second functioning group, which is Rx, when we add a halogen atom to the alkyl group. <coughs> and the name will be haloalkane. This is the general name, haloalkane. Halo from halogen, so the halogen should be named as halo. So we have chloro, bromo, iodo, fluoro and then we mention the alkyl group that located or bonded to the halogen atom so we could have halo methane or haloethane or bromo butane and so on so here for example we have only one carbon atom so we are talking about methane now we have three chlorine atoms so we have trichloro and because C is before F, so chloro must be mentioned before fluoro. So we have three chloro, fluoro, methane. And here we have dichloro, difluoro, methane. So the naming of haloalkanes is just like haloalkane. So bromo, methane, bromo, ethane, bromo, butane, and so on. And if the halogen atom located at, at, not at the first one, so for example, if we have one, two, three, four, this compound here, five, and if we have here, Br, so we have one, two, three, four, five, so we are talking about pentane and we have one two closer to the bromine so we have two bromo pentane and so on we just follow the same rules that we used for the alkene last compound we're going to talk about it in this video here is ether which is r o r and ether is an organic compound in which two hydrocarbon groups are bonded to the same atom of oxygen. For example, if we have CH3, O, CH2, CH3. Here, we, could, we named ether by ethyl and methyl. And you add the word ether at the end of the name. And you have to arrange the alkyl groups here alphabetically. So here we have ethyl, methyl, ether. So this compound is ethyl, methyl, ether. If we have CH3, O, CH3, 
We don't say methyl, methyl ether. Simply you can say di methyl ether. So you just add this word at the end of the name. This is all for our lesson today. In our next video, we're going to continue talking about aldehydes and ketones and carboxylic acid and end with the Easter compounds. Thank you guys and be safe.